Where is my tablet? I need it to study. Kent, can you keep your voice down? I'm trying to watch the TV. So how about the dinner? Have you prepared it yet? I'm hungry. If you want something to eat, then cook it yourself. What is that attitude? My parents pay you monthly to do the chores. Isn't that right? And now you are enjoying the TV series instead of doing the chores? I'll tell my parents about this. Ha! Huh. Do you think they're going to believe you? You better get out of here before I teach you a lesson. What are you waiting for? Get out! One evening. Ha ha ha! A piece of gold. There is no CCTV in this house. How careless they are. I can easily take things from them without being exposed. Hey! What did you put in that closet? That thing looked shiny and pretty. Can I see it? Hey, kid. You cannot enter someone's room without their permission. That's very rude, you know? Actually, he can. This is our home, and he is our son. So he can enter any room in this house, of course. Yeah, that's right. Oh, ah. Oh. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Nelson. Of course. He can. Ha <laughs> ha. What's inside that closet? Can I have a look? No, sir. You shouldn't see it. Only women's clothing is inside. Okay. Then what would you say about this video? Yes. An iPad. I can get a large amount of money by selling this away. Thank you, young Master Kent. Ha <laughs> ha A piece of gold. There is no CCTV in this house. How careless they are. I can easily take things from them without being exposed. Back to present. Oh no. No, how could it be? Look at this. Indeed, my house didn't have CCTV back then. But since there were mysterious disappearances of our belongings, we have secretly installed CCTV everywhere in the house. Not to mention that you were often lazy to do your job. Now pack your belongings and get out of our house. Sir. Madam, please spare me. Otherwise, we will call the police, and they will send you to jail. Hoo hoo hoo. Audio. Another time. Hey, darling. What's that? I'm thinking about adopting a child. Can you give me your opinion about that? Hum. Why? We can't have children again, but I want Kent to have a sibling. Besides, we can have someone to do the chores for free. You know what? It's not a bad idea. Okay. We will go to the orphanage this weekend. A few days later, at the orphanage, they found a boy. Good morning, kid. Tell us your name. My name is Carter. I'm 13 years old. Good. Very well. Which school are you currently attending? I am attending a private school near this orphanage. Okay. Let's get straight to the point. We are here to adopt you. What? But why? The manager of this orphanage said that you were a clever and good kid. That's why we want to give you a new family. Yeah, we can take good care of you. Wow, I never thought I would find a new family. Thank you for adopting me. I will be grateful. Well, well spoken, spoken, boy. boy. Alright, let's take him home. Okay, dear. Back to the Nelson's house. Mom, Dad, who is this guy? Hello, good morning. He's your adopted brother, son. I hope you two can get along well. Yeah, don't worry about that. I always want a brother. My name is Kent, and you? I'm Carter, bro. Yeah, great. I'll take you to your room, and then we can play video games together. That sounds good, thanks. Come on. Excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Nelson. Don't call us like that. Yeah, we are your parents now. You know what I mean? Yes, Mom. Yes, Dad. Good. You can go now. Thank, Thank you. you. Here's your room. Wow, what a nice place. Yeah, I'm out of here. Tell me if you need anything, big bro. Thank you, little Kent. You're welcome. Am I dreaming? What a new good beginning. My life is getting better. But then Carter's life at the house gradually became not very good. One day. No, no, Kent. Don't do that. What are you doing? I need some pocket money. Can you give me some? No, Kent. Not now. I'm saving money to buy some school supplies. Besides, if you need it, you should ask me first. 
I heard you two arguing. What's going on? No, nothing, Dad. Dad, I needed some pocket money, but Carter wouldn't let me have it. Jesus. Must you two argue just because of that tiny problem? Carter, give me that money jar. For what, Dad? Just do as I say. Here you go, Kent. Yay, thank you, Dad. Dad, why would you do that? Come on, Carter, you're older than him. If your little brother wants something, you should give it. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, brother. Dad, you shouldn't pamper him too much. It would make him a spoiled kid. Hey, judging people like that is not cool. Carter, my parents adopted you. Be grateful. Stop talking, children. Kent, get out of his room and let him rest. Yes, Dad. Hayes, what just happened? But they made sense anyway. I'm living in their house for free. Forget it, maybe something like that won't happen again. But another time. Carter, what are you doing? I'm learning. There's an exam tomorrow, Mom. Leave it. Clean up the house and cook something. Some important guests are coming to our house tonight. Can you wait for one more hour? No. Do it right now. Yes, Mom. Okay. They treated me very well at first, but now things are getting wrong. I feel like they are treating me like a servant instead of a son. Forget it. Maybe if I lived properly, they wouldn't give me a hard time. A few hours later. Everything is done now. Excuse me, I'm going back to study now. No, not yet. Go to the living room. We'll need you later. Now go. Okay. Sir, madam, please enjoy your meal. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Who does it taste? Wow, it's tastier than I imagined. I agree with that. Your son can be a good chef in the future. Oh no, he is not our son. Yeah, he's adopted. He's quite useless. He can do nothing but the chores. Oh, I see. Okay, don't mind him. It's an honor for us to greet you here. But they didn't know that Carter had heard everything and that he was deeply saddened by what his adoptive parents said about him. They are being so unreasonable. It turns out they adopted me just to let me be their servant. I'd rather go back to the orphanage than stay here with them. The next morning. The school bus is not available today. Mom, Dad, can any of you take me to school? What? Are you kidding me? No, I can't. There's an important meeting I have to attend right in the morning. Darling, can you please take him to school? No, I have some problems to solve at the company this morning. Then who'll take me to school? Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. I'm going to school now. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. That's right. That's right. Carter, take Ken to school, will you? Sorry, I can't. I'll be late for the exam. I missed the part where's that my problem. You're living in our home for free. So you better do whatever we tell you to do. Otherwise, you can go back to the orphanage. Fine, I want to go back to that place anyway. You've been treating me like a servant, not a son. What? How dare you say that to us? Ouch, why did you do that? That was the lesson for being insolent. You are not going back to that place. You have to stay here and do whatever we tell you to do. What? Now stop wasting our time and take Kent to school. I have no other choice now. Come on, Kent, let's go. All right, hurry up, will you? Later at his school. Carter, you're 10 minutes late. Get out of the class and stop bothering other classmates. Don't interfere them from doing their exam. Teacher, I'm sorry. Please, give me a chance. My parents were busy, so I had to take my little brother to school. Save your words, Carter. I have no time for that. I'm sorry, teacher. Since then, Carter's life has become worse and worse. Two years later. Mom, Dad, I have something to tell you. What? what? I made it into a well-known high school. I will go to school after the summer break. And? And? It's good news. I just wanted to let you know that. Okay, well done. But you have to earn your own money to pay for the school fee. What? But I'm only 15. How am I supposed to do? That's your problem, not ours. I can't believe you can treat me like that. Why didn't you let me go back to the orphanage? All right. We will get straight to the point. We need you as a free housekeeper. 
not because we love you. Understand yet. Don't try to defy us. You have nowhere to go. Now get out of our sight and do the chores already. They almost broke my limit. I have to escape this place one day soon. Another day. I will try to find a job at this place. Excuse me, are you the owner of this place? Yes, I am. How can I help you? I need a part-time job for school fee. What? Are you joking? You look like a high school student. I'm 15, madam. Then I'm sorry, I can't take you in. That's illegal. Where are your parents? I have no parents, madam. They adopted me just because they needed an unpaid housekeeper. They also denied paying for my school FEs. So now I have to earn money on my own for that. I'm so sorry for that boy. But there's nothing I can do for you. Here, take this $1,000. Why did you give me this? That's all I can do to help you, boy. Thanks, but I need a job, not just some money. Besides, this is a large amount of money. I can't take it from you. Thank you. I hope your supermarket will develop even more. Okay, suit yourself. Excuse me, madam. But then one day. Come on. Where's the bus? It should be here now. Good evening, lady. What? Who are you? Don't scream. Shut up and give me all of your money. Okay. Okay. Don't hurt me. Come on. Give it to me. Can I go now? Where are you phone and credit card? No. You can have it. What? Are you kidding me? Give them to me right now. But suddenly. What the? Huh? What was that? Let's talk later. We need to get out of here first. Okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. Thank you. What? Boy. You again? Yeah, it's me. What were you doing there? Well, I was trying to find a job and then I saw that. It's good that you are safe now. I will stay here with you until the bus arrives. Thank you, young man. Ah, here it is. I hope we will meet again so I can repay you, boy. You're welcome. Goodbye, boy. Goodbye. Huh? What is this? A photo of her and her family? This must be meaningful to her. I'll return this to her. The next day. Oh no. It's gone. Maybe I dropped it somewhere. Ha hoo. That photo is meaningful to me. Excuse me, are you looking for this photo? Oh my god. Thank you. That's right. But how did you find it? You dropped it at the bus stop, madam. Here you go. Thank you, boy. You helped me twice. Don't say that, madam. You tried to help me first. Excuse me, I'm leaving now. Wait. What is that? Do you want to come here and live with me? I will adopt you and pay your school fee. What? Aren't you joking? Then what about your family? They are all gone. I, I'm so sorry about that. It's okay, boy. It's been years. Then thank you. I will accept this chance. Can I go back to my house and take my belongings with me? Okay. Back to Mr. Nelson's house one more time. Hey, you little rodents. Where have you been? Cook lunch for us, will you? Hey, are you deaf? Why aren't you answering? Where are you going? I'm leaving this place. What, what did, did you, you just say? say? I said I would leave this place. You can't keep me here any longer. Otherwise, I will report you to the police. I'm sure they can find evidence that can bring you disadvantages. How dare you? So long, you evil Satan and succubus. You insolent. Nelson. Hey, how dare you do that? I was defending myself. I gave back what you did to me last time. Cook your own meal if you want to eat, and do chores on your own if you want your house clean. There's nothing free on earth, you know. Come back here, you ungrateful. After that, Carter had a better life with Mrs. McGuire. Seven years later, he also graduated from college. Mom, tell me I am not awesome. No, I can't do that. You did it well, son. I wouldn't be where I am today if you hadn't adopted me that day. And my decision to adopt you that day was right. Thank you for everything. Come on, son. Don't say that. I hope you can find a girlfriend soon. Well, she's here, mother. Good morning, madam. I'm Carter's girlfriend. Oh my god. You little devil. You've been hiding her the whole time. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry, mother. 
However, Kent fell into debt because of gambling. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? I lost again. Chill, man. Let me play it one more time. I will win. You've said that countless times. Now get out of here. Pay us the debt, or the consequences will be bad. You got it. Stop wasting our words. Get him out of here. Yes, boss. Hey, what are you trying to do? Get out. Even so, the Nelsons knew nothing until one day. I will give my creditors this car. Otherwise, they will send me to the afterlife. Hey, it's 1am in the morning now. Where are you going? Get out of the car. Oh no. Mom, Dad. You have to let me go. They are hunting me. I need to pay them. What are you talking about? Here you are. Still trying to run, huh? Hey, who are you? I'm your son's creditor. Your son owes us $200,000. Are you his parents? Pay the debt, will you? What? Kent, what did you do? We are not paying. Get out of here before we call the polices. Teach them a lesson and kick them out of here. Not just the car. This house is no longer yours. What? what? Yes, boss. Dad. Hey, stop hitting him. I'm begging you. But then an acquaintance appeared. Gentlemen, what's going on here? These people owe us money. They couldn't pay their debts, so the house is ours now. How much do they own you? I'll pay you. I will buy back ownership of this house. Meet me at this place, you'll get the money. How can we trust you? I'm a businessman. The address in that card is my company. Very well. Come on, let's go. Okay, boss. We'll spare you this time. Today is your lucky day. Carter, is that you? Thank you for saving us after all the bad things we did to you. Don't thank me yet. When I finish buying this house, it will be mine. If you guys want to live in this house, you will have to work as housekeepers. Otherwise, go whenever you want. What? You can't do that to us. Why can't I? This is not even your house. You have no right to speak here, understand? You, you gotta, gotta be, be kidding, kidding me. me. And since then, the Nelson family has had to go through what Carter went through. They lived a life of hard labor for the years until Carter handed the house back to them. The end.